Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Lush Foliage. So here, as you can see, uh, this rose plant is having some issues. There's a lot of uh, browning on the edges. Uh, the entire plant is having this issue with the brown edges. Now, there are several factors why this can happen, but the three main reasons is one is fungal attack, second is extreme heat, and third is pest issues. Now, I don't think it is fungal infection in my plant. It's related with two issues. Either it is due to extreme heat or because of pests. I'll show you this over here. You can see I have some scale insects. So the plant is affected with scale insects. I will be using my neem oil. And the second reason why I feel that this has happened is if you remember this rose plant was over there near the green pot and near the green pot it's where there is a lot of afternoon direct sunlight now i didn't realize it uh, because all this while uh, this place used to get indirect bright light but because of the uh, sun's direction that has changed uh, the pot was kept at the extreme uh, corner near the green pot and due to which it was getting exposed to afternoon direct sunlight uh, now this plant is relatively very young it's already summers the temperatures are a little higher over here so due to which this plant started to get kind of burnt apart from that i used to water early in the morning but because of my dry environment uh, the humidity levels are almost 20 percent soil tends to dry fast even though this is a plastic container it has coco peat but still the soil tends to dry very very fast so i used to water early in the morning but by 10 a.m 11 a.m half of the soil used to be dry due to which it also was lacking moisture in the soil so extreme heat lack of moisture in the soil and then we had these pest issues due to which the plant started to have this issue but if i want i can prune this plant completely but i'm not going to do that i will leave it as it is i will treat the pest i have moved all of my rose plants towards this location here there is a lot of direct sunlight morning direct sunlight uh, for around uh, six to seven hours of direct morning sunlight so that is more than enough and you can also see a lot of new buds are starting to come up on almost all of my rose plants very soon we'll be able to see a lot of roses so as of now all of them are doing quite well a good amount of buds because they are being exposed to morning direct sunlight for six to seven hours i have moved everything from this location because it receives a lot of direct afternoon sunlight all of these rose plants are very small so hence they cannot handle that direct afternoon sunlight especially now during the summers if it was winters it was still okay but now during summers it's not a very good idea so i will go ahead and spray a little bit of the neem oil onto those insects uh, these are scale insects uh, with the application of neem oil they will soon die i don't know if it is able to focus there you go you can see that scale insects uh, so with the help of this uh, neem oil those scale insects will die uh, i will check for some more and i'll spray but as of now that is the only part where i see the scale insects so as I said, I will not be uh, taking out any of the leaves right now. I will let them naturally fall and we will see what happens. Uh, if there is no new growth, I will go ahead and do a pruning. As of now, I'm just going to leave it as it is because I do see a little bit of new shoots coming up. So we will wait for that. Also, there is a lot of weeds that are growing in this. I have to carefully take out each and everything. And again, there is another morning glory growing in this. I will have to take out that one as well. So the weeds are the main problem. I'll probably start using some mulch. Uh, mulch is going to work out really well. One, it will retain moisture. Secondly, it will stop any kind of weed growth. So I will soon start to mulch my rose plant. So guys, that's all about it. I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep planting.